as if it's for a final for the World Cup. And I must be the only one to score. But that's what an egoist would say. And sadly, I've never really been an egoist my entire time playing soccer, which has been 14 years. And well, this all kind of started yesterday where I was recording and I randomly got a message from my cousin asking me if I wanted to play at a tournament. Which, in this case, it was a Blue Lock tournament sponsored by Crunchyroll, partnered up with LA Galaxy. And of course, I had to say yes, because what fun would it be if I didn't go? Right? And well, tomorrow is Saturday, which does mean that that's the tournament and I only have today to actually work and train. The worst part is, is that I haven't played soccer in like five months, so I am completely... So, I needed to make a plan which was surprisingly easy because all i really needed to do was just win simple right but i needed to start training again so i decided to go to the park and get a session in i really have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> After a ton of sprinting, and I had to call it there, the time running short because I had to go somewhere very important. Now, the reason as to why I'm calling this a special event is because it's not very often my family and I go out to eat, and this was a Peruvian restaurant, which is called Mangoda Peruvian Cuisine. Now, I highly recommend this. Go try it out. It is the closest Peruvian restaurant that is actually very similar to original Peruvian food, which I've tried before, so I know what it tastes like. I also needed to eat, and this was my last meal before the whole game. Yeah. With the day coming to an end, I knew I needed another session. I grabbed my trusty old vans, my ball, a few cones, and headed outside. But this time, it was all ball control. After 40 minutes of training, it was time for me to go to bed, get a good night rest, and be ready for tomorrow. Well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Lights out. What was that? I was like, I thought you were taking a picture. So let me explain the rules. There are two teams on each field. Each team has three players each, with each game only being four minutes. The team with the most goals at the end of the game will move up, and the team that loses will move down. And with that in mind, it was back-to-back -back games. There will be a number title based on which game it is on the top right corner, so enjoy. Because if not, this whole video would be like 90 minutes, which I don't know if you all want to watch it, but let's just get down to it. So before I continue with the rest of the video, a lot of the footage was blurry and a lot of it wasn't really on focus on the team. Cameraman's got to work on the skills, but hey, it's whatever. I'm just going to be using the best clips that I could find. I'm, I'm actually super like freaking on...
Once we reached game six, we really started to feel tired. With seven wins and four losses and one tie, we didn't qualify for the final. But what we did qualify for was a blue lock bag, which is usually used for cleats, as well as a free Crunchyroll trial for watching anime, and a blue lock jersey that is two sided from in and out. And sure, maybe we didn't win the tournament, but at least we showed up and we tried. Something that I've learned from this entire experience is definitely if you ever want to win, you have to be ready to put in the hard work so that when the opportunity comes, you are prepared to take upon it. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe because this was an interesting video. It's not very often I play soccer, nor is it that I record it. So I guess until then, I will catch y'all later. Wait, 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 but before you go, what if I could actually unlock my true ego? Nah, we'll leave that for another time. Thanks for watching though.